In this video, we are going to learn all about area and volume of similar solids. So first of all, what does it mean for two solids to be similar? It's the same as it is in two dimensions, really, with shapes. It means that all corresponding measurements, and they have to be linear measurements, so anything that you would measure in units as opposed to units squared or units cubed, are proportional. So a linear measurement would be like an edge length or a radius or a diameter or something like that. So these two square-based prisms are similar because if you look at all their corresponding edges, like 3 to 2, 3 to 2, 6 to 4, they all are in the same ratio. They're all in the ratio of 3 to 2. And remember that 6 to 4 reduces to 3 over 2. So that means the scale factor is 3 over 2. So what we're going to do now is look at the surface area and volume of each to see how those calculations relate to the scale factor. So remember when you're figuring out surface area, what you need to do is find the area of all the faces and add them up. So for the surface area for the prism on the left, notice that the base is a square, which has an area of 9. It means that the top base also has an area of 9. And going all the way around, we have four congruent rectangles, which each have an area of 18, because it's 3 times 6. So the total surface area will be 2 times 9 for the two squares, plus 4 times 18 for the four rectangles. That gives us a surface area of 90 inches squared. Now for the smaller prism, it's the same idea. There are two square bases which each have an area of 4. So we want 2 times 4 for those two bases of an area of 4. And going around, we have four rectangular faces that each have an area of 8. So we want to add in 4 times 8 and we get a surface area of 40 inches squared. So now let's look at the ratio of the surface areas. The ratio of the surface areas is 90 over 40, which is the same as 9 over 4, which is really like 3 over 2 squared. So if we go back to the scale factor, which was 3 over 2, we'll notice that the ratio of the surface areas is the scale factor squared. And that will always be the case, whether we're talking about prisms or pyramids or cones or anything else. For any similar solids, the ratio of the surface areas will always be the scale factor squared. And the reason for that is surface area is a two-dimensional measurement. So it's applied the scale factor sort of twice, which is where the squared comes from. So the ratio of the surface areas is the scale factor squared. Now we want to think about volume of each and find the ratio of the volumes. So thinking about the first larger prism, the volume of the prism would be the area of the base, which is 9, times the height, which is 6. So that means that the volume is 54 inches cubed. For the smaller prism, the area of the base is 4, and the height is 4, so that means that the volume is 16 inches cubed. So if we want to think about the ratio of the volumes, it'll be 54 over 16. So let's go down here and say ratio of volumes is 54 over 16 which reduces to 27 over 8 if you divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2. Now, how does 27 over 8 re relate to the scale factor of 3 over 2? Well, 27 is 3 to the third power, and 8 is 2 to the third power. So that means 27 over 8 is actually just the scale factor 3 over 2 cubed. And if we think about the surface area was squared, and now the volume ratio is cubed, it should make sense because volume is a three-dimensional measurement, 
and surface area is a two-dimensional measurement. So in general, the ratio of the volumes will always be the scale factor cubed, and this again would work for any two similar solids, even if they're not prisms. So what you need to remember here is, if you know the scale factor, then the ratio between the surface areas has to be that number squared, and the ratio between the volumes has to be that number cubed. Sometimes you'll know the ratio between the volumes and have to work backwards to figure out what the scale factor would have been, or what the ratio between the surface areas would have been, or something like that. But that's how it all works and how they're all related.